this is the fourth video in a series of six to unbox this giant uh, bonanza of books from Kennewick Press, distributed by um, Penguin Random House. And so let's get started. See the Cat, Three Stories About a Dog by Dave La Rochelle, illustrated by Mike Wonutka. Um, and it looks like it might be easy reader. Yeah, but definitely um, emphasizing fun and with three short stories. It almost reminds me of like the Frog and Toad, you know, that kind of, that kind of series, like very classic and, um, you know, with the, with, the, with the different chapters and all the stories kind of tie together. And then there's something like a very fun way to end it. So that looks great because there's, you know, there's just not a lot of great easy readers, new ones. They're, I mean, they're just, I don't know, they're, they're, they're a treasure when you find them. So Peppa Pig, so Candlewick Press uh, has an imprint, Candlewick Entertainment, where they make books based on TV shows. And so this one is on the very popular Peppa Pig. And this is the day of giving thanks. So, so far we had a Hanukkah book, a Christmas book with dinosaurs. And here we have a Thanksgiving story with very popular Peppa Pig. So sure to be um, a hit for all the Peppa Pig fans. And um, there is a coloring poster included. Sometimes the poster is the book jacket. Yeah, so, so people are always like, I didn't get the poster, but it is the back of the book jacket. So that's just a heads up. The next one is this really beautiful water. So it's The House by the Lake by Thomas Harding, illustrated by Breda Teckentrup. And I, I just find the illustrations to be very, very beautiful and arresting. So it's the true house of the true story of a house, its history, and the four families who made it home. So that sounds intriguing, doesn't it? Oh, and so this is the outskirts of Berlin. And so it is also a World War II Nazi German uh, Nazi Germany story. Um, so let's just see kind of who lives here. So the family lives here and then the war. I okay. think and they get, yeah, I don't know, something happens to them. And more people. It's, it's empty. So I, it's history. And I mean, it covers, you know, a large area, time period. And I'm hoping that um, there's a happy ending. I'm hoping the family, yeah, so it ends up, it's multi-generational. So that's, I mean, that's, wow, like, that's actually kind of a, a happy ending and unusual. And so here we have the four families who lived here, the doctor, and his wife, and they were Jewish. Then the house was bought by, from the Gestapo, who like just took it, by a music publisher. And their sons were a part of Hitler Youth. They fled to Austria for the war. Then the man with the filthy hat, he rented it. He was a street cleaner and he spied on his neighbors. Wow, it's amazing. They knew all this history. And then uh, in 2013, the house is restored. Um, but I'm not quite sure who lives in it. Now it's like his historical, but I don't know if it's the original uh, children of the family. But wow, that's a, that's a pretty powerful story to tell in a picture book, you know, to get all that information in. Yeah, that looks great. I'll add, I have a Holocaust um, book list. All right, to that. Oh, PJ Lynch. He's like one of my favorites. The Haunted Lake. Um, and so he, he wrote and illustrated the story of the boy who fell off the Mayflower. Um, and that's when I met him at a Candlewick Press event. And he's, he's Irish and he just has the most beautiful illustration style and just like the nicest person ever. 
Um, and wow, so this lake looks like there is a, like a city underneath that got, uh, so I don't know if the lake, I don't know if the city got, um, is underwater because of a dam being built or something else, but it looks intriguing. So this village was flooded. Um, some say the lake is haunted, but these got the Jacob and Ellen um, live on its shore and catch fish to sell at the market. Um, and then there's just something mysterious about this lake and the buildings that are exposed or even submerged. I don't know. He tells a really good story. So this looks really interesting. You know, he could convey so much emotion in his illustrations. Yeah, so maybe a ghost story. Um, maybe a love story. Maybe both. Yeah. So I'll read it and I'll let you know. It looks, it looks, um, you know, kind of like a um, Titanic type epic story. Um, let's do one more. Let's play Monsters by Lucy Cousins. Oh my goodness! So Lucy Cousins here. She does do books that aren't uh, her Maisie characters from time to time. Um, because we had that Zaza um, book that we read a lot about uh, a, the new baby coming. I forget the exact title, but um, that was one of our favorites. Um, and so here is a family. Um, and something about monsters? Oh, so maybe they just play monsters and not actually monsters. And so, I guess everyone pretends to be a monster. Um, it's kind of a fun game. All right, well, nice to see uh, a different um, illustration and characters. Ah! Excuse me, from Lucy Cousins. And um, let's see, we'll do one more and then we'll finish up the last batch of the books. And so last one for this, which is the fourth one, is Grow Secrets of Our DNA by Nicola Davies, illustrated by Emily Sutton. Nicola Davies also, I, I love her. She is just fantastic. I love her picture books. I believe she is English. Um, and so this is definitely a STEM one, um, DNA, biology. She, do, she does do, um, I mean, all her, her books are different. They're all they have different themes, but they all really resonate with me. Uh, but she did do another um, STEM one with the tiny creatures, this one here, um, which is, I guess, also DNA. So I think, so yeah, so this is really just, um, I guess, like what they call narrative nonfiction. So teaching a concept through story. And here, the science concept is about DNA. But you know, she Nicola Davies, she does it in a in a very engaging way. That you know, you're learning science, but it's it's pretty, it, it you know, through story. So it it it, it really is um, a nice way to introduce kids to these concepts that are much more advanced. Because um, I think my kids would learn about DNA and biology. Maybe a little bit in middle school, but certainly more in high school. Um, so, great. Looking forward to that. And I have, I think I might have a list for that, or I'll have to make one. Um, so all these books, again, are from Kennewick Press. And um, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for these books.